Hey everyone, I'm Jensen. It is Thursday, October 8th, and from a plot to kidnap Michigan Governor Gretchen Whitmer to a debate about the next presidential debate, I have all the stories you need to know to get in the loop today. But before we dive too deep into anything, I want to get you all caught up on the latest coronavirus data from the state. So to date, there were 1,539 new cases compared to the 21-day average of 1,080. There were 13 reported deaths compared to the 21-day average of 19, 109 new hospitalizations compared to 75, and 11 ICU admissions compared to that average of 12. And while Putnam County remains in the top 10 counties with the most cases per 100,000 people, it dropped way down the list to the sixth spot with 251 cases per 100,000 in the last two weeks. But Fulton County climbed up the list to the third spot with 287 per 100,000. Three other Northwest Ohio counties were in the top 20 today. Defiance, Henry, and Wood with 223, 200, and 175 cases per 100,000, respectively. DeWine called the numbers disturbing. The CDC threshold for high incidence is just 100 per 100,000 people. And now there are 18 counties in the Level 3 red category of the state's public health advisory system, and that's the highest number since July 23rd, with 58 Ohio counties in the Level 2 orange category, which is the highest at any point since the system was created. At this point, 96% of Ohioans are living in a red or an orange county, and only 4% are in the 12 level 1 yellow counties. And just up to our north, a plot to kidnap Michigan Governor Gretchen Whitmer and have her stand trial in Wisconsin was unveiled by the FBI today. Six people are named in the criminal complaint and they could be facing life in prison. The 15-page document lays out a plan to kidnap Whitmer and have her stand trial for treason. According to the court documents, the plan would be executed before the November 2020 election. Some of the disturbing details in the complaint include talks about assaulting the state capitol and shooting up Whitmer's vacation home. Two people named in the complaint, Adam Fox and Barry Croft, gathered with about 13 other people from several states in Dublin, Ohio on June 6. The group apparently talked about creating a society that followed the U.S. Bill of Rights where they could be self-sufficient. They laid out different ways of achieving this goal, ranging from relatively peaceful actions to violence. The militia group was brought to the attention of the FBI in March at a point where members were trying to find addresses of police officers. To make it more bizarre, the group communicated by encrypted messaging using code words and phrases to try and avoid being detected by law enforcement. The governor's vacation home was the designated spot of coordinated surveillance on two occasions. Fox and Croft even talked about setting off explosives to try and move police away from that area. Fox also inspected the underside of a bridge on a highway, trying to find places to put those explosive devices, and he brought a taser for the planned kidnapping. And DeWine took time out of his press conference to address the whole ordeal as well. It is a, a despicable act. Uh, it is horrible. And, you know, everyone has to denounce this. This is, you know, if you want to talk about, um, you know, our political process, uh, this is outside our political process. We, we have a great process. We have a great system. We are a nation of laws. And the fate of the final debate between President Donald Trump and former Vice President Joe Biden is pretty much up in the air. Both campaigns offered dueling proposals to move forward as the president recovers from COVID-19. Today kicked off with an announcement from the Nonpartisan Commission on Presidential Debates, which said the next debate set for October 15th in Miami would be held virtually. But Trump said he wouldn't participate if the debate wasn't in person. So Biden suggested they push the event back a week with the next face off on October 22nd, which is when the final debate had already been scheduled. Trump then agreed to a debate on the 22nd, but only if it is face to face. And he requested a third debate be added on October 29th. But Biden didn't like that idea, saying it would be too late in the campaign. ABC News did announce it would be holding its own town hall with Joe Biden next Thursday, and he's going to be answering voter questions on national television. But so far, the debate commission hasn't weighed in on any of these proposals so as soon as something more solid is put into place we'll be sure to let you know but let's look a little bit more locally here today toledo firefighter and boxer deandre ware was given a key to the city by mayor wade kapsikavich for going above and beyond the call of duty at a weigh-in ahead of his fight in las vegas 
at his weigh-in, Ware put his seven years as a firefighter and EMT to use when he jumped in to help an official who was in distress. The official had gone into cardiac arrest and Ware and an on-site doctor jumped in to help until help could arrive. Ware performed chest compressions on that official until he could be taken to a local hospital. His life-saving efforts went national with top rank boxing, thanking him publicly, and the story making it on ESPN. And as always, let's end on something fun, and we're sticking local. Look, I know the pandemic has put a damper on a lot of traditional Halloween activities, but there is something fun and interesting happening in Oregon this month. Check out the Oregon Haunted History Tour. It's a free and interactive driving tour featuring 10 destinations, including ghost towns and graveyards that runs from right now until October 28th. And if you can figure out all 10 scavenger hunt clues while timing yourself and taking a selfie at all the stops, including your start and end time, you could win some cool local prizes like Sundance drive-in tickets, a mani-pedi, an hour-long massage, and some other cool things. For more information, check out our website, WTOL.com, and just click on Go419. But that is all I have for you today. If you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. I'm Jensen, and now you are in the loop.